Hi, this is Tom Pritcher again with part two of this series entitled Retreat. And now we're going to get into the taming and training of the coronavirus. And uh, it's very smart. So it's really not going to be a hard thing to do because it is so smart. Look, it got me out of retirement of making videos and uh, got the whole world into retreat. And uh, it also notice how the world is coming together in many ways. Uh, people are being kinder and compassionate to other uh, others. Uh, okay, so... How do we tame the coronavirus? Well, it's very smart, so uh, it can be trained pretty easily. And it is so smart that it's covered the whole world now almost in, in a very short period of time. And it needs a host because it's not alive. It's a... a basically uh, RNA, and it needs us to go on, and so it doesn't want to kill us. That's another clue to how we can tame it. So look at the news in the world today and uh, keep six feet from everybody and wear masks and all that. And all that's very important. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm staying in here in my studio. See, there's some more of my art behind me and over here. Uh, so, if we fear those we come in contact with, that sort of sets us back a little bit and, and makes us weak. Now, it's a natural thing for us to do in a way because it's the biological imperative is to survive. And, yeah, that's what we want to do. And uh, so we got to stop fearing everybody and... Uh, when we stop fearing, we can get stronger. And how do we get stronger? Well, we're going to learn a meditation right now. It's very simple, and, and you can do most of the time with your eyes open, and especially when you're with other people, is uh, I call it the Mother Teresa meditation. Mother Teresa, as many of you know, was a uh, Catholic nun in India, and she deal, dealt with, uh, she catered to lepers and other what they called their low lives, people that are very sick on the streets. Uh, I won't get into detail, but their wounds are oozing. And so she was giving a lecture in India, and somebody asked her, how can you deal with these vile people? And to make a story short, she said, when I look at them, I see the face of Christ. <clears throat> and, I mean, that was her thing. And it's a good thing. So what I do is when I meet other people or I look at other people, I see who they really are. I see their essential self, their true self, what I call presence. And uh, we do that. You don't tell people that you're doing it. You just do it. So do it. Practice it. And your immune system will become stronger. And we'll have our start of taming the corona, corona virus, corona. Corona reminds me of the Sanskrit word, corona, 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 corona. And uh, so that's part of, of uh, 
the antidote, part of the antidote, part of our becoming strong is to exercise karuna, which is empathy, compassion, kindness. It's what happens when we do the Mother Teresa meditation. And we act on it, too. We uh, move our feet, so to speak. And uh, so that's step one. And so this whole thing that's going on in the world is a rite of passage. I mean, it, it's affected so many people in, in so many ways. And think about that, how it's affected you and the people around you and, and uh, how we are on retreat. And how to make the best retreat is to be on retreat, withdraw from the external uh, world and go deep within ourselves and that's becoming quiet yeah retreat you become quiet this is somewhat of a silent retreat in that sense that we're withdrawing from the world and uh, making the best of it so, what else did we? Ca I want. I don't want to get into another topic. So, uh, there's another saying that I'd like to bring up. That is a f one of my favorite sayings: "Is what we defend against, we make real." And we'll get into that in greater detail. And uh, yeah, it doesn't makes sense on an external worldly way because we have to defend ourselves if something's attacking us, right? Well, how can we best do that? And we start with the Mother Teresa meditation. Thank you very much. <laughs>